Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at applying the area of a circle formula. We're going to answer the question, how do I solve problems involving areas of circles? So remember, area is the 2D surface that covers a circle, like that. So to solve problems involving the area of circles, you want to list out the given information and then use the formula to find the area in order to solve the problem and to find what the question is asking for. And remember, the formula for area of circle is pi r squared. Let's look at number one. Monica ate half of a grapefruit for breakfast. She covers the circular surface of the other half of the grapefruit with plastic wrap. If the radius of the grapefruit is four inches, what is the minimum amount of plastic wrap that Monica used in square inches? So she is going to be covering a circle, so we need to find an area of that circle with a radius of four. So the radius is four inches, and the formula for area of a circle is pi r squared. So to find the area of this circle, we will do 3.14 times four times four. And I'm gonna multiply the simpler numbers first. 3.14 times 16 is what I will do to find the area of this grapefruit. So the area of this grapefruit is 50.24 inches squared. Let's look at number two. It says the base of a cylinder, which is going to be a circle, has a diameter of 20 millimeters. What is the area of the base of the cylinder in millimeters squared? So they want us to find the area of the circular base. The diameter is 20 and I need radius for my formula, so to find the radius I will do 20 divided by 2, so the radius is 10. So now I'm ready to plug into my area formula, which is pi r squared. So to find the area, I'll do 3.14 times 10 times 10. I'm going to multiply the simpler numbers first. 10 times 10 is 100. So to find the area, I'll do 3.14 times 100. So the area of the circular base would be 314 millimeters squared. Okay, let's look at number three. Joshua is going to cover the semicircle opening of his fireplace. It has a radius of three feet. How much material will he need in square feet? So a semicircle is half of a circle, so I'm going to have to find the area of the circle and divide it by two. So let's just start by finding the area of the circle that has a radius of three feet. Area formula is pi r squared. So to find the area of the full circle, I'll do 3.14 times 3 times 3. I'm going to multiply the simpler numbers first, and 3 times 3 is 9. So to find the area of the circle, I will do 3.14 times 9. The area of the full circle is 28.26. So now to find the area of the semicircle, I'm going to take the 28.26 and divide it by 2. The area of the semicircle would be at 14.13 feet squared. Okay, let's look at number four. Rachel is frosting circular sugar cookies. If she made a dozen cookies that each have a radius of two inches, what is the total amount of frosting that she will need for a dozen cookies in square centimeters? So we're going to assume that she's covering the whole entire cookie with frosting. Each of them are going to have a radius of two, and there's going to be a dozen cookies. So I'm going to have to find the area of one of the cookies 
and then multiply it by 12 since she's going to do 12 cookies. So let's start by finding the area of one cookie. It has a radius of two inches. So I will do a equals pi r squared to find the area of one cookie. So it'll be 3.14 times two times two. Two times two is four. So now I need to do 3.14 times four. area of one sugar cookie is 12.56, but I want to find the area of the dozen cookies because that's how much frosting she will need in total. So I'm going to take the area of one cookie, 12.56, and multiply it by 12. area of 12 of the sugar cookies would be 150.72 inches squared. Okay, let's look at number five. Joey picked up pizza on his way home from work. He ate one fourth of it on its way on his way home. If the diameter of the pizza is 16 inches, how much should he eat in square inches? So he ate one fourth of the pizza. So I have after I find the area of the pizza, I will need to divide it by four to figure out how much he ate. So let's find the area of this pizza first. It has a diameter of 16 inches and I need the radius for area of a circle. So I'm gonna do 16 divided by two for the radius and I get eight. So the area of the circle can be found by doing pi r squared. So I will do 3.14 times eight times eight. Eight times eight is 64. So to find the area of the circle, I'll do 3.14 times 64. Area of one pizza, of the whole pizza, is 200.96. And now I need to find one fourth of that. So I'm going to take the area, 200.96, and divide it by four. Area of a fourth of that pizza would be 50.24 inches squared. All right, number six says, what is the area of the largest circle shown in the image below? So the largest circle would be this one that I'm highlighting in pink that encompasses both of the smaller circles. So they don't tell me the diameter or the radius of this large circle, but I can figure it out because it goes from here to here. So it goes six inches through 18 inches. So the diameter of the large circle is six plus eight, which is 14. So now that I have the diameter, I can find the area of this circle. If the diameter is 14 to find the radius, I will divide that by two. So the radius is seven. So to find the area, I will do pi r squared. So I'll do 3.14 times seven times seven. Seven times seven is 49. So to find the area, I will do 3.14 times 49. of the largest circle shown would be 153.86 inches squared.